Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 23 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I picked up cheap and sold for decent, sold for decent profits. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. Um, I call these my bread and butter bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less and are easier to find items that you can pick up cheap. Um, let's get started. State sales, garage sales, thrift stores. That's where I pick things up. This channel is geared towards bolo items. Be on lookout. Um, I've got tons of bolo content. I do category videos that are awesome. Um, like I just did one on bathroom bolos, items that you can find like in a state sale bathrooms. Go check it out. Crazy. All right, you guys, let's get started. Um, the first item I sold is this Fisher Price Little People pink SUV car. Um, it's got music and sound. Um, I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $15.84 and the buyer was all in for $28.02. So when I do photos, I just make sure I show all the different, um, features of the car. And then like this, it's got a little defect there. So I shared that as well. The next item I sold are these Merry Christmas mini storybook ornaments. You guys, I always pick these up. Now, these are not in great condition. So I did not get as much. You can see right here, there's kind of some rust at the staple area, but I still listed them and they still sold. Um, I just sold one. I showed in another video that I sold one for $25. So they do vary depending on the book um, and who the maker is. The Kurt Adlers do pretty good. Uh, I did sell this for $15 and the buyer was all in for $20 and 50 cents. And I picked that up at a garage sale for a dollar. UGO Millennium 2002 board game. It is complete. I got this at a garage sale for $1. It sold for $20 and 16 cents. And the buyer was all in for $31.28. So you can see here, everything is still in its correct spot. I made sure I included photos of everything and I don't pick up a lot of games, but for some reason I grabbed this one and it sold pretty quick. The next one is this J Lynn Oriental Lady Counted Cross Stitch. That is the name of the kit. You can typically find that on the item somewhere. So um, it's got the, the title and the number. I would probably put both of those in the title if you can. If I remember correctly, this is a smaller kit. Um, so it doesn't, it's not like one of the bigger ones, 10 by 16. So uh, I ended up selling this for $14.40. The buyer was all in for $22.21. And I got this for a quarter at a thrift store. The next item is this vintage AG, AG, AJC signed cat brooch, golden color. Um, there's the measurements, super cute, uh, nothing spectacular about it, but I do find that people collect animals. Um, so whenever I see like an animal, whether it be a figurine, a uh, home decor or a toy, um, a toy figure or pins and brooches, um, people collect animals. So definitely look them up. This sold for $15 on best offer and the buyer was all in for $21.91. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I purchased 344 pounds of jewelry and I am still listing the items. The next item is this vintage Hearthstone coffee mug. It's birds, pears, blueberries, apples. It's basically just fruit and birds. Mm, excuse me. Um, this is Hearthstone and um, I always pick up Hearthstone. I think these are kind of local to Ohio, but I'm not 100% sure. They always have right here on um, where the handle is, they're signed with initials. And I think that's the person who maybe painted it. Not 100% sure. This one did have a small chip. I'm trying to find it here. Uh, right here on the lower part of the mug, I just disclosed it. And this shape of mug is a little bit harder to find. I did not see a lot in this shape of mug or pattern. So this ended up selling for 20 or $19.99. The buyer was all in for $30.35 and I paid a quarter for that at a garage sale. 
The next is this Princess and the Popper Barbie outfit. It's a Ken outfit from King Dominic. And I sold this for $20.16. The buyer was all in for $27.61. I picked up a bag of Barbie items at a thrift store. I do have an unboxing video or an unbagging video on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you want to see what else I got. The next item, My Little Pony Scooter and Accessory Lot. This came out of... Nope, I actually got this at a thrift store and my cost of goods was about a quarter because it was in a lot of toys. Sold this for $21.60. The buyer was all in for $30.25. The next item is this vintage solid perfume Revlon pendant. It's a flower necklace and it actually holds um, the perfume. So um, I'm guessing somebody's buying this for the necklace and maybe they'll take this perfume out and put something else in it. Um, I do know that eBay is now restricting um, sellers from selling used perfume. This is an actual solid, so I don't know if that would count or not. Definitely do your research. I probably would not list this now. Um, this is an older listing. Um, I have taken all the perfume off of my uh, off of my eBay unless it has um, unless it's new old stock. So uh, look into that before you list perfumes, guys. Even if you're putting it under collectibles, I was told it is a no no now. So um, I have not confirmed it with eBay, but one of my friends did call and confirm it with eBay. I don't know if it's one of those things where it depends on who you talk to, um, but to be safe, I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, this sold for $17.27. The buyer was all in for $25.22. The next item is this Melina Swirl Retro Hook, hook a Rug Kit. And it's a craft kit. It's vintage. It's new old stock. Really cool item. I got this at a thrift store for $3 and I took a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in with tax and shipping for $38.80. The next item that sold super fast are these vintage chalkware singing nuns. Um, I picked this up because it said made in Japan and I pick up almost anything made in Japan. It seems like people collect made in Japan and it usually has a pretty good sell through rate. Again, uh, sold really quick for $28.80, and the buyer was all in for $46.07. My cost of goods on that was $1.50, and it is made of chalkware. The next item is this Charming Tales Sweetie Pie Cherry Fitz and Floyd figurine. Um, it's got the original box. I got this at a thrift store for $3, uh, sold it for a best offer of $20, and the buyer was all in for $28.15. These little charming tails do range. Um, most of them are bread and butter, but there are some that are harder to find that will sell for more. This is a child's play. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly plush doll. It comes with five bean bags. Unfortunately, it was incomplete, um, but I still did pretty good. I ended up taking a best offer of $23. The buyer was all in for $31.77 and my cost of goods was $1.50 at a thrift store. Um, if you can find it with all of the bean bags, um, you're going to make more uh, of a profit. Now, this apparently goes with a book. So um, I guess you read the book and like a teacher would use this in her classroom as she's reading the book. And then I guess the old lady swallows the different animals. It's kind of odd. Um, the next item I sold are these Connects Green Motor Batteries. So these are batteries for Connects. I got these in a Connects lot. Um, I have not sold these. I don't think I've sold these before. I wasn't even really sure what they were. And I was pleasantly surprised that these are a nice bread and butter, you guys. I sold this for $21.60. They sold pretty quickly. The buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $30. My cost of goods was about a dollar at a garage sale. This is something you may or may not waste your time with, but it is very easy to list. And they sell pretty good. I have sold quite a few of these. They are the um, rocks that come from the play sets. This one happens to come from the Imaginex Ultra T-Rex Dinosaur Black Boulder Rock. And you can see what it looks like. Again, super easy to list, super easy to ship. Um, they sell well for me. I sold this for $8.64. The buyer was all in for $12.94. 
This came from a thrift store in a little toy bundle. So my cost of goods was probably 25 cents or less. This came out of a mystery box. I almost didn't list it, but um, decided I was going to give it a shot because there wasn't a lot of great stuff in the box and I wanted to make my money back. Um, it is a vintage Hallmark paper mache turkey. And you guys, it ended up selling really quickly for $18 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $29.85. All right, this is kind of different. I got 142 of these, you guys. These are handmade and they actually sold for 30 bucks. <laughs> um, the buyer was all in for 40, 31 and I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. So that was kind of a nice surprise. Was it a quick sale? No, but um, it did sell and for decent margins, so. This is Snuffleupagus. Anytime I see him, um, I pick him up. He usually sells pretty good. This one is um, him riding on a sleigh um, or sled, whatever. Sledding, sled, uh, sleigh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I put sled in the title. Uh, I ended up taking a best offer of eight bucks on that. All in $13.99 and I paid about a quarter for that at the garage sale. This came from a thrift store. I've got $5 in it. And I took a best offer of 30 and the buyer was all in for $41.13. So you guys, this is a vintage Ursula Easter rosette irons and handle Bugs Bunny egg baking sealed rare. So I'm not even really sure what you do with this, but um, maybe make cookies it looks like. I don't know. I've never used one of these. But pretty cool item. Looks like that screws into each one and then you dip it in something. I don't know. Kind of cool. Anybody ever used one of these? The next item I sold is this vintage. I'm not, not vintage. I'm sorry. I think it's retired. Disney Infinity 3.0 Minnie Mouse figure. So this is a game piece, you guys. These game pieces range. This one is a major bread and butter, but some of them sell for 25, 30 bucks. Some more. Um, you got to definitely look them up, but I was just listing them individually. I ended up selling this for $7. The buyer was all in for $12 and 21 cents. Got it at a garage sale for a quarter. Minnie Mouse is a little more, um, easy to find. So doesn't sell for as much. The next item, I'm just sharing this. It's a major bread and butter, but I just think it's cool. So creative memories is scrapbooking. And these are correction paper stickers, you guys. And I sold these for $7. The buyer was all in for $11.50. I got this in a scrapbooking lot. I think I paid $3 for the whole lot. So my cost of goods is probably a quarter or less. This is a vintage A&H doll. Um, it's got the Bell Dome. It's a sleepy eye bride. It's collectible. I got it at a garage sale for a buck. I ended up taking a best offer of $10.50. And the buyer was all in for $22.31. I don't feel like this was one of my better buys. I was just really, it didn't take that long to sell, but I took a lower offer. So it was one of those things where I was like, I just don't feel like it's going to be in high demand. So I took the low offer and was like, happy to see it go. The last item I sold is this 2000 Disney vintage trading pin, Hotel Tower of Terror. Um, on the back, the Disney pins typically are marked and then they'll have these little Mickey Mouse ears um, to, to close the pen. All right, you guys, that was 23 bread and butter bolo items, items I bought low and sold for decent profits. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, what is your business model? Uh, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you have a YouTube channel that's new, um, down in the comments, just put I'm a new channel or something like that. And then hopefully people will come check you out. All right, you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up. There's going to be a subscribe right here and another video over here. Click on one of those. I basically focus on bolo items that resellers should be looking for to increase their eBay sales or Poshmark or Mercari, whatever platform you sell on. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.